It's the number one greatest show of all time. In America, it doesn't get any bigger than Seinfeld. The sitcom ruled the airwaves for nearly a decade. 76 million people watched the final episode, and it's still shown every day of the week in the US. And what's the deal with lampshades? I mean, if it's a lamp, why do you want shade? <laughs> I still watch the reruns. Okay. I think it's a classic. Seinfeld gives the world sort of like a little taste of New York, what it's really like here. And fans travel thousands of miles to see Seinfeld's New York. Even the locations the show used for filming are a hot spot for fan photos. Well, we've traveled from Australia all those thousands of kilometers to see the Seinfeld diner. The show propelled Jerry Seinfeld onto the A-list, but instead of going to Hollywood, he chose to go back to his roots of stand-up comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Seinfeld. You just take two steps back to your... Oh, my God. We gotta... Let's go from the top, everyone. <laughs> back to one. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Good to see you, Nick. You too. And now he's performing in the UK. The right. show sold out in record time, and for one night only, fans right. will see the man described as the master of comedy. First stand-up show in the UK for 12 years. Mm -hmm. Fans are going to be travelling hundreds of miles, if not thousands, to see you. Does that add a little bit of extra pressure? Tremendous pressure. Unrelenting pressure. All I feel is pressure. I'm guessing that's a no. Yeah. Well, um, I would like the show to go well. It doesn't matter what the critics say, so it's this kind of pure communication with the public. It's, I think it's the most pure connection that an artist can have with the public. Jerry's a huge fan of British comedy, Ricky Gervais in particular, who of course was accused of being a little mean-spirited when hosting the Golden Globes earlier this year, something Jerry thinks is nonsense. The job of a comedian is not to leave the situation as you found it, you know? Your job is to come into that room and make something happen in that room. If Ricky does it, the, the Golden Globes again, Everyone's going to be excited and thrilled and everyone's going to tune in to see it. That's your job. Make people come to see what you're going to do. A lot of Americans are very excited about the forthcoming royal wedding. Are you one of them? Yes. Yes, I am. Very excited. Well, it's a circus act. It's an absurd act. You know, it's a dress up. It's a classic English thing of let's play dress up. Let's pretend these are special people. Okay, we'll all pretend that. That's what theater is. That's why the British have the greatest theater in the world. They love to dress up and they love to play pretend. And that's what the royal family is. It's a huge game of pretend. These aren't special people. It's fake outfits, fake phony hats and gowns. It's, it's, it's fantastic. We don't have anything like that. If you've been looking for Jerry amongst the many celebrities on Twitter and Facebook, then don't waste your time. It's not gonna happen. Once you blow out the candles, on your 50th birthday cake, your first thought is, the fewer people I have anything to do with, the better off I'm gonna be. It's a great thing for people that wanna communicate and not know if anyone liked what you said. It's another dress up and pretend. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend everyone's listening to me and then I'm gonna pretend that they're interested and LOL. They loved it. Did you hear my what I said? And everyone loved it. Yeah, they loved it. They loved it. Jerry's stand-up comedy is coming to the UK in June, when he'll be laughing all the way to the bank. He's rumoured to be getting £1 million for his one and only performance.